heavenly places. Can we sit up in heavenly places? Praise God. You're welcome to church. Uh, this is the first outside. Sorry, the chairs are coming in late. Sorry about that. Very sorry about that. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I want to believe I'm not looking strange this morning. I don't want to be too coordinated. I'm looking, I'm feeling too sanctified. <laughs> Glory to God. Yeah, today we're going to be having our ordination and graduation in the second service for this first set of people in the school of ministry. So I thought um, 13 years ago, 14 years ago, 2007 to now is how many years? Is that 13? Okay, 13 years ago, I was officially commissioned like this into ministry. And I was ordained a reverend. So I'm a reverend father, actually. No Pentecostal reverend father. You know, and um, today just reminds me of the experience, you know, how I made up my mind that regardless of everything, I was going to serve God all the rest of my life. It was a solemn commitment for me. It's not just like the regular thing, pastor calling you and say, you are going to be pastor from today. No, I, it was a conscious decision based on divine calling to say that ah it's serious when you have dreams and goals and visions of all the things you want to become but you have said that even if i go and study everything i will lay them at the feet of jesus and i will follow him so everything about the whole of my studying as a lawyer is just at the feet of jesus and I'm, i've chosen to follow him all the days of my life and not can change that decision. Are we here together? Glory to God. It is just my own reminder today. It's just reminding me again of that. So don't worry about what I'm looking like today. I choose to look like this. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Can you look at your neighbor? Tell the person it's good to be in church. Tell the person I'm excited this morning because I know the word of God will bless me and cause me to advance in every area of my life. In Jesus' name. As a church, we're very sensitive to times and seasons. And because of our sensitivity to times and seasons, we ensure that at certain times and at certain um, seasons, we bring teachings that will be relevant to the lives of people so that they can become everything that God, that God wants them to be. So that sensitivity creates in us the, the need to ensure that we look around and ask ourselves, what? is the exact thing that people will need now that god would want them to put in place so that they can prepare for their lives and um, looking at the calendar of the church this year today happens to be that day where we'll be able to teach us things that have to do with our preparation for the next year are we here together people who don't have goals are living like goats goats don't reason Goats don't set goals. Goats don't plan. They roam about the street. Every believer must understand that God wants you to be focused. God wants you to have a clear vision of where your life is going to. The spiritual mechanism with which God helps people to move their life from one level to another level is vision. So if you don't have a clear vision of where you're going to, wherever they drop you becomes your final bus stop. You'll be satisfied with any and everything because you're not sure where you're going to in life. Are we here together, church? So in order that you will not be satisfied with just everything, there must be something in your heart. There must be a God-given vision. Or perhaps you are just trying to, you know, get to know what God will have you do. At least have goals. Do you have a single idea of what you want next year to look like? You don't want to stroll into 2021 and just look like a stranger in that year. You should come from 2020 telling 2021 what you want it to produce. Because whatever you decide now, that's what you will get in 2021. Are we here together, church? So I want you to pay attention to me this morning. I'm going to be teaching things that are very practical. And by the, by the grace of God, we're also going to give us materials. I'm going to give us, we took time, we painstakingly, I prepared the materials painstakingly, how to do uh, an evaluation for the previous year and plan for the new year. So on the, 
on the WhatsApp pages, everybody will get it. And on the website, you'll be able to download it. Don't play with it. Please, I beg you. I had to take out time to leave my house, go and sit down in the camp this week to just take time to ensure that I do all this. And I'm doing it because I know that we need it. We need it. So we must not joke with it. And I'm going to show you a practical example of how I personally started planning for 2020. I plan like that every year, but I have my 2020, 2019 jotter here. This is my 2020 jotter. And I'm preparing a 2021 jotter. I can't, I can't live a single year of my life without having things written down. I will stand upon my watch and wait to hear what he will say to me. And when I got there, he said, write the vision. Make it plain upon tablets. So that whoever reads will be able to run with it. He said, the vision is yet for an appointed time. Though it tarries, wait for it. It will surely come. Don't assume in your life that you just wake up one day and become everything you want to become. It doesn't happen like that. Don't join the band of those that have the popular, you know, saying, que sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. It's a lie. If whatever will be would have been, then you should have stood in front of your house, not wear your clothes, and clothes will wear you. You took step. You made the conscious effort. You bought the clothes and you put it on. Am I making sense? The same thing with your life. If you want your life to wear a nice cloth, you will sew the clothes for your life. You plan the clothes for your life. You design your life the way you want your life to look like. Am I making sense today? So whatever you want your life to look like, it is in your hand. God has given man wisdom. God has given man senses. God has given man mind to understand unlike animals that cannot plan their lives men have what it takes to plan their lives and to live without a plan is the plan to fail to live without a plan is a plan but it is a plan to do what to fail luke chapter 13 from verse 6 to 19 i'll do it very fast because after this we're going to be taking the communion in this service mr Obaro is a wife from church for for is she, is she around today but she's coming she's supposed to be here for first service for the dedication because second service is loaded and packed full already luke chapter 13 let's read together from verse 6 to 9 can you help us on the screen luke chapter 13 let's read it together one to go now he spoke also this parable if you have your phones your gadgets your hard copy bible please let's do it together one to go he spoke also this parable a certain man had a fig planted in his vineyard. No, that's, that's, is that it? Luke chapter 13. Okay. Is it from verse 16? It should be 16. Is that not? Please help me check it. Go to 16. Let me see. Okay, go to 6. Go to 6, please. 6. Um, help me with my top. Go to verse 9. I really want to see. I don't want to start reading without being sure that that's where I'm going to. Okay. Okay. I, I must have picked the wrong scripture. So just get me my tab so that I can pick it for us. Now, Luke chapter 13. Should it be 6 to 9 or 1 to 9? A man wanted to build a house. Can you check it around for me? Wanted to build a house. Will not first sit down first, count the cost. Check it. Is, this, is that what we're reading? Bible scholars, check it, check it, check it fast. Look what? 14. Wow, that shows that I'm a real human being. I can make mistakes. This is serious. Luke chapter 14, is that not? Okay, from verse 28. Let's look at it together now. Let's look at it together. Okay, very good, very good, very good. Now go to verse 26. Is it 6? 27. Yes, yeah, 6. Okay, the next verse. Okay, now come to 28. I think you're right. Luke chapter 14. So let's do it together from verse 20. Eight, one to go now. For which of you intending to build a tower does not sit down first and count the cost, whether he has enough to finish it, lest after he has laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all who see it begin to mock him, saying, 
this man began to build and was not able to finish or what king going to make war with another king does not sit down first and consider whether he is able with 10,000 to meet him or come against him with 20,000 or else while the other is still a great way off he sent a delegation and asked conditions of peace so likewise whoever does not forsake all cannot be my disciple are we here together jesus speaking here said how many of you wanted to build a town you want to build a nice 2021 will not first sit down and start considering and start planning and start asking what will my 2021 look like what kind of life do i want to live in 2021 what do I want my spiritual life to look like? What do I want my business to look like? What do I want my career to look like? Do I want to remain the same every day of my life? It's a question that you need to ask yourself. You don't just stumble into a great future. You don't just stumble into something that is working. You make up your mind to make it work. To make it work. So regardless of the challenges that you're experiencing, God is expecting you as a child of God to make progress every year of your life. Every year of your life. There's a parable in the Bible that talks about a particular man who owns a vineyard and he said, for three years I've been coming here to seek something and I'm not getting anything from this tree. And he said, chop it off. It's just encumbering the ground. It's taking space. Get this tree off. And the vine dresser came around and said, sir, please give it one more year. Give it what? One more year. In other words, God is saying, I want to give you another year to see what your life will look like. He said, give the tree one more year. Paradventure. Let's fertilize it. Let's add manure. Because that's what I'm going to be doing in church through the season. Uh, we're teaching. Adding manure. Adding fertilizer. Giving relevant information. Prayer. Studying the word of God. Dishing it out to us. So that with these things, we'll be able to see what our life will look like. Give it one more year. 365 days is good enough for you to re-strategize, replan, and set a pace for the next 5-10 years of your life. Our problem is that a lot of people are too myopic. They are too now conscious. It's good to have consciousness of the now, but please, can you have a future that you are looking at while you start planning for the now? Am I talking sense to somebody? If you don't have a future, then there's no hope. If you don't see anything in the future, then there's no, there are no chances that you're going to succeed. Those who succeed don't succeed by chance. Those who make it don't make it by chance. They do what? They plan. They have a vision and they plan towards it. God wants his children to plan their lives according to his leading. God wants our lives to be intentionally lived. Do you know that growth is natural, but you are intentional about it? You are intentional about your growing. That's why you eat. That's why you drink water. Okay, let's do it like this. Don't eat. Don't drink water. Don't have your bath. And just be fine. Let's watch how, how far you will last. That's how many people are living with their lives. They're not planning. They're not reasoning. They're not praying. They're not doing anything that can further their life. And they expect that somehow it will just happen all of a sudden. Friends, it doesn't happen like that. Am I talking sense to somebody this morning? Am I helping somebody this morning? Don't ever live any year of your life without goals. Proverbs chapter 24 from verse 3 to 4. Let's look at it together. Proverbs chapter 24 from verse 3 to 4. The Bible says, Proverbs chapter 24. It says, through wisdom is a house built. And by understanding it is established. By knowledge, the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches. Check another translation. He said, by wise planning, wise planning, intelligent planning is a house built. Wise and intelligent planning. Wise and intelligent planning. That's how you build a house. That's how you get results. That's how you succeed. Are we here together, church? Every time you fail to plan the year ahead, you already plan to fail. In Proverbs chapter 21 verse 5, the Bible says, The plan of the diligence leads surely to abundance. The plan, the plan. Somebody say the plan. Uh, let me hear you now. Let me hear you now. I can't hear you loud and clear. 
it is the plan of the diligent. So there must be a plan, and the plan must have been done by a diligent person. To be diligent, how many of you listen to my message on diligence this year? Please go back to it. I'll refer you back to about six to eight messages for this year. You just have to go back. Once I have spoken, you can hear it a thousand times and see what your life will look like. It is the plan of the diligent. A person who is diligent is, takes pain. Diligence means that you are painstakingly going through something to ensure you get a better result. It is the plan of the diligence that the Bible says leads to abundance. He said, but everyone who is hasty, someone who is in a wrong hurry, they only come to poverty. Anyone who is hasty, he said they come to poverty. But the plan of the diligence will provide abundance for the future. Success or failure is a choice. So you must make up your mind what you want for 2021. It's a choice. You don't see, you see, the truth is that nobody has to force you to succeed. Nobody has to force you to make it in life. Nobody has to force you. You decide for yourself what life you want to live. But I will beg you, consider going around town and see those who are struggling and ask yourself if that's the kind of life you want. So you must make up your mind. The earlier, the better. Are we here together, church? Most people fail because they actually never have a concrete plan for their life. Proverbs chapter 27 verse 23, the Bible says, Know well the condition of your flock. I will explain this to you. Know well the condition of your flock. So your own flock today will be what now? Your business. Your business. Know well the condition of your flock. And give careful attention to your what? Heads. These guys were people who read animals every year. Every, every year. Is that not? So God said, you should know the condition of your flock. Understand what is happening. Look very well so that you know whether they are healthy or not. Know well the condition of your business. Know well the condition of your career. Know well the condition of your spiritual life. Know well the condition of your family, or your financial life. Know well the condition of your relationship and your family. Or else, divorce will come knocking at your door. Because you didn't plan. You didn't manage it. You didn't have wise planning on how to strategize. Marriage is without vision. They will collapse. Business is without vision. They will collapse. Lives without effective financial planning. They will collapse. We have a church that is largely young people. And when people see us trooping into this place, they feel like there's one serious money. It is wise planning that is giving us the little results that we are getting here. And guess what? No devil can stop it. Why? Because intentionally, we strategize. We look at it again. I take time. I reason. Is this the right step to take now? If I take this step, what will be the result? If I don't take this step, what will happen to us? Can we delay this one? Can we wait a while? Can we shoot at this now? Wise planning. Why is planning? 2021 is looking at some people and smiling and saying these are the people that will be victorious. 2021 knows those that will be victorious in it already. I love the fact that you are saying amen. It's a prayer at the same time. It takes action. Did you hear what I just said? As much as it's a prayer, you need what? Action. Action speaks louder than words. Ah, next year we'll go buy a car. How do you want to buy it? What are you doing? Next year we must build a house. Where... You want to build a house next year. What is your business like? What is your finance like? You expect that somebody will drop Ghana must go in front of your house. Are you kidding me? Even if God gives you a miracle, you don't even have an idea of the kind of house. So you might just build nonsense. I want a nice job for next year. Have you checked very well? Do you have the qualification? Have you qualified for that kind of job? Okay, even if God gives you a miracle and they put you in that job, if you don't grow up to meet up the standard, they will still sack you again. I don't know if I'm talking sense here. The businesses and organizations and individuals that will make significant progress in the year 2021, they are already planning. They are already strategizing. They are already telling themselves, this is what we will do. I will get married next year. Are you marryable? They can marry you like this without your character. You better adjust it this year. You still have the mindset that all men are dogs and you say you want to marry. Everyone that comes will look like a dog to you. So how will you marry? You have mindset that all ladies are looking for money. You will not see any good one because you are just looking that believe everybody's looking for money. So you must plan and ask yourself, how do I get the ones that are not really looking for money? Where, where are they? What do they do? What's their mindset like? If I talk to one that is not looking for money, will I know that this is the kind of person that is not after such things? 
this year 2020 you were struggling with your spiritual life you always sleep in any time you want to pray you carry your bible and it is a pill for sleeping it's only when you want to sleep you carry this bible and in the next 10 seconds you have slept you want to do that next year again please make up your mind don't say god don't understand god will protect this the righteous your righteousness needs help it needs amplifier help it make up your mind that in 2021 some deals that you lost it was because God was waking you up to pray last year. You didn't pray this year. It was that night. He was waking you up. Now there's going to be somebody doing something strange. Wake up. Wake up. Let's engage. Just do 20 minutes. And when you step out, the doors will be open. And you were there. You now rushed in the morning, woke up. You got into the bus. You were just forming power. And everything was happening. And all of a sudden, he bypassed you. And you say, ah, this is God. It's not God. God is merciful and kind. In his mercy, he thought that it is necessary for you to step up ahead and do the needful. There are things that God will never do for man. Man must do it for himself. Am I talking sense to somebody, church? Please get me right. It will help you. People who don't succeed by chance, they succeed by wise planning. Somebody say wise planning. You are praying without planning. You will not get results well. Though. You are planning without praying. <laughs> Your result does not have spiritual energy to back it up. Are you going to say now? So what are you supposed to do together? You pray and plan. You pray and plan. Have you not seen that before? Prayer warriors, they used to be very poor. But now, modern day prayer warriors, they're not poor. They're not correct car. You're coming out, they're, their life is making sense. Because they have learned that all the while, that generation, they usually just there. Uh, 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 uh. Oh God, come out and do something. Uh, uh, uh. God says, stay there. The Bible says, go to the ants, you sluggard, and learn his ways. Consider the way of the ones and be wise. They know when it is time for them to start gathering because rain will soon come. The rain will come. And many of us that are here understand it. There will be a rain season of one's life where you cannot work again. So the Bible says, remember now. Even God is saying for my own too. Remember now your creator. Time will come when you don't have strength to pursue the way you want to pursue. Time will come when you go to seek for a purple ball and they just look at you and see your age. They will say, sorry, sir. We're looking for people that are 25. So what should you do now? Those of us that are adults and parents, you must look at the areas where you did not get some things right. There's nothing that cannot be restored. If you are surely on the side of God and you say, God, I want restoration. He says, I will restore to you the years that the locust, the palm from the caterpillar has eaten. I will restore. But this restoration will come with some sitting down and wise planning. If somebody has 10 years remaining in their lives, they can still make impact. Even if they have 5 years and say, I want to make impact with these 5 years before I go and sleep, they can still make impact. It's a decision. Am I talking sense to somebody here? Are we here together, church? Are we here together, church? Let me say these few things. I'll give you the pamphlet and we'll go. I don't want to take too much of time. I'll tell you the things very practical. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3. It says, commit your works to the Lord and your plan will be what? Established. Commit your word. So you are going into 2020. You don't even have any works. You want to commit to the Lord. You are just there committing your mouth to the Lord. Father, Father, God said, commit your word. Works. Bring it. Bring your, what do you want to do? What kind of business? What kind of life? What, what kind of person do you want to become? I want to see it. He said, when you commit your works to the Lord, your plans will now be what? Established. I'm very intelligent. I have all my plans in my brain. I'm really sorry. You forget it. When, when serious things hit you front and back, eh? you will just forget all the plans. But no matter how anything hits you, if you have it written down, you go back to it and say, this is the original plan. I can't fail. Trials, pressure, everything, but I still cannot fail. Am I talking sense to somebody this morning? You are running a shop right now. You think you want to be in a shop level all the days of your life. You are a young man. You are running a business right now. That business can feed you. You want to marry next year. You have not amplified it. After you say the lady is the one that made you poor, better wake up. Tell yourself the truth. Am, am, I, am, I, am, I, am I helping somebody this morning? Yes. Go back and read the messages that I preached on relationship. Adam and Eve single summit. Flames of love. The one I thought recently. Building a happy marriage. I talked about that. Building quality relationships. Network that can change your life. Please go and listen to this message again. For business people and career people, listen. Go and look at the Navigate series again. Go back. Just take time. Then during the COVID-19, I thought reflection. How many of you were around when I talk about reflection? Go back and listen to the message on reflection. You will need the message of mental advancement. Mental advancement. Many Christians 
in, in, things are beginning to change. Thank God for us. But for before, Christians, as if they don't use their brain. They just use their spirit. God gave you spirit, soul, and body. You must use what? All of them. So you see organizations, you see somebody who has not yet got born again, he's strategically planning the next year already. He's already making deals. No prayer at that. He's just planning. He has plan A, plan B, plan C. Then there's a Christian somewhere. He's just praying. So you don't need to bother yourself. The Lord has everything covered. As you're saying it, God is saying no cover. Right. Get some sense. Right. You cannot cover what you're saying we should cover. You need help. Okay, you need help for money for business. What plan do you want to use to get the money? You think you just be strolling to people and say, give me money. You must creatively write something. Plan or plan it in your, in your mind and put it down. And say, this is what I will say. When I say it like this, when I put it like this, the Holy Spirit back in my words, it becomes forceful. I can get results. Am I talking sense to somebody here? So before you start the new year, number one thing you must do is evaluate the past year. Somebody say, evaluate the past year. In evaluating the past year, you ask yourself, what has happened throughout this year? How far have I gone? What have I achieved? What have I not achieved? What are the things I said I will do that I have not done? Sincerely, I have just about five minutes because we're, 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 we're rushing with time today so that we can meet up with other things that we want to do for the service. So just follow me. Are we here together, church? Let, let's follow so that we can get it together. Get me a copy of the, of the, of the stuff we printed yesterday. A copy of it. You will get it. You will get what I'm, I'm giving out now. You will get it for... We don't have copies, printed copies much. We just have... We will get soft copies. I'll, I'll talk about that later. Please let me, let me have that copy. Evaluation from last year. All the books you said you would read last year, did you read them? What happened to all the plans that you had last year? These are the questions you now ask yourself. What worked for me last year? What did not work? What are the things that I was just doing and just running around in circle? You have to ask yourself. See, the, the reason many people fail in life is that they don't evaluate. Evaluation is the key to success. Evaluation is fundamental to success. Every year in this church, once in a while, we bring out a sheet of paper and give people to help us feel. Tell us where we are not getting it right. Tell us where you think we can adjust. Give us a little clue. Tell us some things. Why? We need your information to succeed. You are running business. Your customers are disappearing. You didn't call one of them and say, please tell me, why is everybody going? Is there, is there masquerade in front of my shop that I'm not seeing? Because sometimes you get too familiar with your environment. You are blind to see what is driving people away. Ask them. Evaluate. You do an evaluation about your spiritual life. Evaluation about your career, your job, your business. Do an evaluation about your health and fitness. This year, my wife and I, we significantly reduced. We stopped eating. It's not fasting that is the real thing. I fasted a lot this year. Yes, fine. But that's not fasting. Because I don't think my wife fasted as much as I did. And she also reduced. It was intentional. I can't eat this again in my life. If I keep eating this thing, what will I look like when I'm 70? If I want to keep remaining fresh and healthy and feel uh, healthy and you know fit, what are the things I should stop? You are still buying, like I said, a five bottles. You are drinking it with all gallons. You are just feeling so fly. You are, you are digging your grave. Coke. Every every small son, son must not touch you. you and you'll be boasting with the bottle just be doing like this on the road. Please behave, behave. You drink one in the morning for the morning sun. You drink two for the, in the afternoon for afternoon sun. One is night for resting. And you are feeling good, and you are using bread, white bread, agege bread, that the flour that is inside won't wussy no any. You're just eating it. Without control, without anything, just continue like that. And today we see people that are 30 having high blood pressure. How did it come? Please check your health. Though. No matter the vision you have, if your body packs, that's packed up, cannot do anything again. I had days where I was going for three vigils in one night. I preached in three places. It was, my itinerant work was so serious. I had to stop, say, please stop this. I would take bike, take the risk. When I was a child, I thought like a child. I spoke like a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things because I've seen that, ah, two children, no, no, with wife. If I, who would, who would help my life? It's don't cause problem for yourself. Am I helping somebody this morning? Tell your neighbor, make up your mind. Your marriage. How close you and your wife, your children, what's the relationship between you people? If care is not taken, do you think that these people are seeing that you're doing your responsibility as a father, as a mother? 
you must check you must do an appraisal ask your wife am i getting it right the one in the room are we doing it well or we need improvement just ask yourself no i'm sanctified today but i'm trying to i'm trying to be very much more sanctified because if you don't ask question if you don't ask question if you don't ask question questions are important evaluation is very important why am i feeling why am i not getting this right why is it not working last year i i had to write i started evaluating potters 2019 i started asking question why must we set standard for excellence i asked myself do we have a reward and appreciation system i started thinking what can i do to make this vision a global vision i started thinking all these things i wrote them all I say, ah, our church seems to attract a lot of young people. What of the adults? Who would they come to our church? What will I do? My message has to balance. So everybody can sit down and hear the same message from Pastor Mabisa. Three years ago, it was not like that. I'll be talking as if I'm talking to students. But now I can talk to everybody across board. And somebody can hear it and say, man, my life is going to change if I continue hearing this. It was intentional. I sat down to plan it. What are we doing? What I'm reading now is here. What are we doing that is not working in PTCC? What are we doing that is not working? What are the things that we must do to get results? Okay. What are the events that we are doing that we should not do again? An event can be successful, but it didn't achieve our vision. Maybe we should not try it. I ask those questions in our meeting, I'll ask. I say, what are the things? Administrative work, everything like that. Too. I Nobody succeeds by chance. Nobody succeeds by I don't have, no, no Babala who is giving me anything in my pocket. I have to help myself. Those that have Babalao can trust their Babalao. Me, I don't, my Babalao is in heaven. So he has taught me how to go about it, so I go about it that way. Are we here together, church? Tell your neighbor, plan your life. Tell your neighbor, plan your life. So let me ask you, when you get back, you get this three-page paper. Don't be in a hurry. You need quality three hours to evaluate and one extra hour to consistently write. If you are planning 365 days with five hours, it's not too much. 365 days, five hours you are planning. My relationship with this, my daughter-in-law, is it working? This, my son-in-law, is it working? What are the things I should do so that I can realize? There are some doors you have shut by yourself because of the way you are doing things. Go back and think about it. Are we here together, church? I won't talk too much. A word is enough for the wise. Let me just stop here because if I continue to talk things that are on my hand, you will see them in the paper when you eventually get in the, on the internet, when you eventually get them. So you will look at it. All these areas of your life, your marriage, your friendship, your personal growth and development. How many books did you read this year? They said Bill Gates that has all the money in the world. I think he's the fourth right now. He has moved down a little bit to the fourth. Is that not about the fourth richest man in the world? That he reads 50 books in a year. You, are, you have not seen re talk of ch and you don't read two. Why now? Why are you behaving like that? You don't have any book on financial prosperity, how people prosper financially, how to make wealth, how to make money, and you want to make money. You cannot. You don't, your spiritual life is growing down because you have not read anything about building your spiritual life. Being on fire for God. See, you can be a total well-rounded man. That God will look at you and say, fine spec, correct spec. This is the kind of spec, spiritually balanced, carrying fire on the head. The brain is working, the business is advancing, the family is running very, very right, building quality relationship for the future. Now, my can be that. That's what God wants to do with your life. Don't be a one-sided person. Are we here together, church? Tell your neighbor, I will not be a one-sided person. Can you say it loud? I will not be a one-sided person. All unprofitable relationships in your life, delete them. Every relationship that did not help you last year and is not going to help you and there's no prospect that is always taking from you, subtracting from you, putting, every time you discuss with those people, you're always feeling bad. Life is always looking heavy and horrible. Please, delete them. They cannot help you. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Anything that drains you emotionally, spiritually, financially, delete it. What are the harmful habits? Habits. Habits that are harmful, that you are managing and petting. Please delete those habits. Delete those habits. They will not help you. They are dragging you back. The Bible says, wherefore now, let us lay aside every weight and sin that does so easily beset us and run with endurance the race that is set before us. There's a race in 2021 that is set. You are not competing with anybody. Your competition is this, this old version of yourself that is sleeping whenever you should be praying. This version of yourself that does not have plans for business advancement. This version of yourself that does not have plans for your financial life. This version of yourself that does not have quality plans. That's your competition is with this version. To say, I'm going to break out of here and enter a new me. Why? Because the glory of 2021 21 is looking for those who have effective plan and are ready to succeed. Rise up on your feet. I don't want to talk too much. In second service, I'll still talk some other things. 
you will plan oh. you will have to plan i told us that those who come to this church we have a goal that in the next five ten years some of the people whose lives are making sense at a very high level they must be coming from here the only what, what am i doing the works of my hands are not blessed until the people who listen to me every day their lives are changed how what will be the proof of my apostleship what will be the proof of my ministry if people do not come out and say i was like this i came like a rag person but look at my life now everything has changed i heard these things consistently for a period of time and my life has changed my business has changed my spiritual life has moved forward my relationship with my children my family my in-laws everything is now balanced why i have heard the truth and you shall know the truth and the truth any truth that does not transform is the lie the evidence that you have wisdom is that wisdom gives birth and the, what wisdom gives birth to is called results anything you are doing that does not have results you don't you lack the wisdom to produce the results until you get the wisdom, you can't get the result. Boys are pursuing you everywhere. Young girls, they are just running from one, one, two. By the time you are going to meet the man that will marry you, you'll be accounting of 25 boys in your life. All, all the image in your head like this. Only you, only you. Small head, small body, small age. You have all the wisdom of this world. The experiences. Go and make up your mind and say, God, that's not the life I want to live. I'm a chosen generation. I'm a special person. I'm a daughter of Zion. I want to come out in the years to come. And some of these people will look at me and say, this lady lived her life well. And guys are saying, uh, yeah, it's true. You to enter every hole you see, enter, enter. Go to the Thomas water on the Jade more. If you don't care for you, you enter that one. Everywhere you see, you enter. Everywhere you see, enter. Everywhere you see, enter. Every you are married, you see, enter. Ah! Tell yourself, that's not who I am. Oh. I'm a different person. 2021, you are seeing a fresh version. All I have been procrastinating, I'm coming back. I'm ready to work. I'm ready to make my life work. I'm ready to make my business work. I'm ready to make my career work. I'm ready to make my health work. I'm ready to make my children work. I'm ready to make my business work. My academics must work. Lift up your hands and say, Father, I receive wisdom for strategic planning. Wisdom for strategic planning. Lift up your voice and talk to God this morning. Very briefly, just talk to God. Wisdom for strategic planning. Wisdom. Wisdom for strategic planning. I will evaluate. I will look at how far I've been doing three years from now, two years, one year. And next, I will see that in one year, I have achieved what I could not achieve in five, ten years. Why? Because of critical evaluation, strategic planning. I'm praying upon it and say, Holy Ghost, breathe upon this thing. Breathe upon it. I have my plans. Anyone you want to change, let's see it change. No problem. But at least I wrote something. Anyone that does not align with your plan, let it be adjusted. But at least I have something in my mind. I have something in my mind. Is somebody praying? Are we praying, in church? We are going to have beautiful families, beautiful businesses, beautiful spiritual lives, balance, flaming, problem solvers, destiny transformers, and help us. Instead of moving around, plan that relationship. God gave you a nice guy or a nice woman in your life. And you are playing everywhere. No, sit down, plan. Sit down, plan. Children don't wear nap clothes, napkin again. They wear pampas. It's money. Sit down, plan it. There are some problems money cannot solve. If you don't have a firebrand spiritual life, everything can miss in one day. Sit down and build your spiritual capacity. We must not live our life to chance. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed.